Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today it's about answering your questions. The questions today that have been submitted on our private Facebook group, Biblical Nutrition Academy Facebook, have all been around the topic of COVID. And these questions are very sincere, and so I'm going to answer them as best as possible. This is a serious time that we're in. It started with a, a lot of unanswered questions, and we still today have a lot of unanswered questions. But when it comes to our immunity, when it comes to what God designed, there are clear answers, and we're going to talk about that today. Before we get started, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the bell. That way we can stay connected and together understand God's recipe for excellent health. And always remember, the number one ingredient is that God loves you. He always has. He always will. He has loved you from the moment of your conception. And no matter what, He's there for you. So let's get started with today's questions. Like I said, today's questions are all about COVID and how can we stay healthy? How can we get back our health? Question number one, I'm feeling so listless and non-productive after this one and a half year of COVID. Can your courses help? This was submitted by Denise. I, I'm very sorry about this time that we're in and it's so much control that's been put on us and it's left everyone listless and some people non-productive. It is the exact opposite of how God created us. We were created to worship, worship together, walk hand in hand, to love each other. And yet society has taken a turn for the worse when we were closed off from each other, totally against God's plan. Yet remember, He has come to overcome the world. No matter what situation we are in, we have the opportunity to praise the Lord. Paul was in jail and he praised the Lord. Esther was in the middle of a complete annihilation of her people and she sought the Lord. Daniel trusted the Lord when he faced ultimate death. He just knew his God would save him. With this being said, listlessness is a choice. We are called to be warriors and that means no matter what comes against us, we have the power within us to be strong, to be victorious in our mindset, in our emotions, and in our physical and spiritual health. The courses that we offer, they start with the seven steps to amazing biblical health. This is just the first step on this journey of gaining back your physical, emotional, and your spiritual health. And it's totally free. It's just for signing up on our website, thebiblicalnutritionist.com. The second course that is up to you, it can be the Daniel Fast. This is 21 days of devotion to God and eating only the basic principles of food. This diet shift, it helps our body to cleanse and our heart to focus. Another option for the second course could be the 40-day transformation. Now this is a complete belief, eating, and prayer overhaul. And most of our actions, they first begin in our beliefs. And our beliefs are a result of our thoughts. What you do, what you believe about who God is in your life, what do you believe about who you are in Christ, this all matters. And it's coming to the forefront when we've been put in a shutdown society. So yes, these courses definitely help and they are very biblically focused. Until then though, just realize you have Christ in you when you have him as your personal savior. He will never leave you or forsake you. He's given us that promise. And no government can shut down what God is wanting to do in your life. We are never non-productive if we're in prayer. We are never listless if we are seeking him in everything we do. God will deliver you from any situation, no matter what man tries to do to us. Always remember, God is faithful and he is always there with us. So whether we get to praise in a huge worship auditorium or we're praising with just our family, we are still in a matter of prayer and praise. Thanks for asking that question. It's a very good question, very transparent question. I hope this helps. All right, question number two really touches my heart. It says, I have sciatic arthritis and I'm having an inflammatory reaction to the COVID vaccine. Can you recommend supplements and foods that will help? This was submitted by Dorothy. 
Dorothy, I, I am really um, deeply sorry about this reaction to the shot. I, I just launched two videos on how to improve the immune system with or without the shot. Uh, first, the most important step is to seek God for His support. He is our ultimate healer. And there is so much we don't know about this, the long list of reactions that are happening, and they are happening all over the globe. Yet we still start with God. Number one, prayer to Him for a complete healing is where I would start. Number two, next is a diet, an anti-inflammatory diet with foods that include cruciferous vegetables, lots of greens. I would even do juicing to get a high dose of antioxidants with carrots and beets and spinach. Number three, I would use the herbs, milk thistle, dandelion, um, let's see, um, turmeric. I would use all of those for healing. Number four, water lots and lots of purified water. This increases the efficiency of our immune system and it helps us to fight depression and other mental I issues that can come along. Water helps prevent the development of cancer such as breast, bl bladder, and colon. And this was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. Number five is healthy fats. They help to lessen the inflammatory reaction. Uh, totally avoid vegetable oils and only consume healthy omega-3 fats. Number six that I would do is prayer and meditation. This shot has more unknowns than it has knowns. This requires intervention from the Lord Almighty. The Lord Almighty is the one who can protect every cell in your body. Every cell in your body is being put in a stress point because of this shot. And we need to do everything within our power and then put everything on the hands of the Lord with His power to bring about that healing and that protection. Everyone who has a COVID antibody is actually higher um, protection than a shot could ever create. So keep that in mind also for those of you who have not taken the shot yet. Remember, God is the one who created our immune system. He knows what's best for us. And always remember when he wrote in Genesis that he created man and it was good. That means you are valuable beyond estimation. You are the most excellent of all kinds. Man can never understand the body completely the way God understands it. That's why God created our T-cells, our cytokines, all of that to help protect us. And so, Dorothy, we're really going to be in prayer for you for this issue that you're dealing with because God is faithful. He will not leave you. And so I just want to thank you for submitting that question. Question number three. Could the unhealthy diets of most Americans cause inflammation, which then impacts immunity, be a major contributor in the cytokine storms experienced by COVID patients? I always find it ironic that magazines with pictures of their on their covers with huge sugary carb desserts feature articles on weight loss. Talk about mixed messages. Um, thank you. This was submitted by Mary. You are so right. I agree with you 100%. Inflammation is the primary cause of most diseases, yet the main contributor of inflammation is the processed sugary diet. So we get rid of the source of inflammation, sugary processed foods, and you lessen the chances of the inflammation fallout. Now, this cascade of problems that follow are going to diminish. So for those of you listening and aren't familiar with cytokines, cytokines are proteins made by the white blood cells and they help regulate our immune system development. And they also help with how the immune system responds to different you know, invasions. So when the body responds with the cytokines, this causes changes throughout the entire body. The liver is going to step up its production of certain proteins for relief. Yet, at the same time, the plasma in the blood coming to the rescue is going to lower your level of iron and zinc. Now, this is important to understand why with COVID, they keep saying you need to up your zinc levels. Whether you have it or don't have it, just as a protection, in, in typical days in America and around the world, we are typically zinc deficient. And so, and it doesn't take much to bring you back up to a level of efficiency. So a good multivitamin with a, with a daily value of zinc would be good. But for people who are wanting to prevent you know, COVID or to overcome COVID, you're gonna need higher doses of zinc. So you wanna talk to your practitioner about what is the best level for you. But this is why you need zinc, because you've been depleted of zinc. Your body used it to go into the rebuilding phase, and now you're depleted. So you not only need to 
replace it, but you need to increase it because you're needing it at higher doses. Imagine you were running a marathon, you're going to need more nutrition, more water than you would if you were just lazing around on the couch. Yes, it takes more nutrition, more energy to feed that type of an, an, um, you know, a performance, which is a marathon. Your body's in a marathon against this COVID. So you need higher levels of zinc to stay in the fight and to stay strong in the fight. To that, I would also add vitamin D, and we've talked about that several times. Get your vitamin D level checked. I'll put a link to that down below where you can order it yourself, and you can see where you are. Most of my clients who are just starting with me, their vitamin D level is around 20 to 30, and it's like, oh, no. Okay, let's get you up. So I usually will recommend a dose for them that is very typical. Most practitioners would suggest the same. And then recognize you need to get it tested again in three months. We've got to know where we are and how well we are improving with the dosages that we're taking. Zinc has a zinc taste test. I'll put a link to a product down below that you can order on Amazon and get your own zinc taste test uh, for, kit for yourself. Uh, if you haven't, if you've bought it in the past and you haven't used it in a couple years, I would buy a new one so it didn't go bad. I don't want you to have false negatives or false positives. So buy a new zinc test down below. I'll put that in the notes down below. Now, back to answering your question. So to be our best, we must eat like tomorrow matters. Okay, don't give up on our life. Don't give up on your life. Don't give up. Don't give in to emotional eating. I want you to eat to live. I want you to eat to be strong. I want you to eat to feed that microbiome that creates this healing effect that is transferred to every part of your body. Every meal matters. Every bite matters. Even those ones you're cheating on. We have no more days of being lazy with our eating. So stay on a good zinc supplement, a multivitamin, vitamin C, a B complex, and of course, vitamin D. I'll have links to a few of those that I take down below. You can check those out and see if they match you. Question number four. Yesterday, I heard a doctor say to have a green tea, dark chocolate, and grapes every day to help protect against COVID. Is this true? And this was submitted by Heather. This is a really good question. So let's look at what God put into these three foods, and then you can decide for yourself. Green tea. Now, green tea is different from black and oolong tea. It is produced from steaming fresh leaves, which leaves the polyphenols intact. Now, that's good. So according to a book called The Alternative Medicine Review on Monographs, Volume 1, green tea is loaded with polyphenols, which are God-designed nutraceuticals. And they are a high antioxidant, antioxidant, anti-carcinogenic, which means they protect against cancer. They're anti-inflammatory, they are probiotic, and they're antimicrobial properties. Whew, that's a mouthful. Now, this is indeed an all-around good reason to drink green tea. Be sure to catch my tea video, though, learn, to learn how to shop green tea in the grocery store. Dark chocolate. Now, according to Dr. Katz in his book, Nutrition and Clinical Practice, he teaches about dark chocolate. And if you get dark chocolate that's 60% dark or greater, it is a huge, great source of bioflavonoids and antioxidants. Studies have shown improvement in blood pressure, insulin sensitivity, cholesterol and lipids, heart, preventing heart disease. Now, this is not milk chocolate. It's an organic derived, greater than 60% dark cocoa. Cacao, which is the cocoa bean, has caffeine and theobromine. Now these are energy boosters. Dark chocolate also has polyphenols, which have been proven to be protective against heart disease, cancers, diabetes, osteoporosis. And it is actually higher in antioxidants than green tea. Now, this doesn't mean you have the right to just go out and grab all of the chocolate bars you want and say, oh, this is my COVID relief bill here. No, that's not what it means. Typically, just one ounce is usually a square. If you get those bars, you know, that are like about this size, just one ounce is one little square that they have inscribed on the bar. One ounce per day is all you need for the protection that God has put in that dark cacao or cocoa uh, product. And God creates good, man isolates and destroys it. So, yeah, so definitely dark cocoa, dark cacao, greater than 60%. Now, I usually get like 85 to 90%, and that's almost pure cocoa. 
and that way my husband won't touch it <laughs> so I get to enjoy it at my own leisure if I buy the 60% or the 56%, that's like half sugar, half cocoa, my husband will go through it pretty quickly. So yeah, so choose your favorite. And if it has almonds in it, that's okay. If it has grapes, or, or not grapes, but if it has raspberries in it, that's okay too. But the high percentage is what we're looking for. And then make sure it's an organic dark chocolate. This is all important. And organic is more in, in the processing than it is in the growing, but it's still important to keep track of. All right. Food number three is grapes. So for grapes, we need to understand to get the best health benefit from grapes, it needs to be the skin of the muscadine grape. Now, I tried eating one of these one time and it was not an enjoyable experience. So it's not at all like your red and white grapes you get in the typical grocery store. The muscadine grape has just a very thick skin yet the skin of the muscadine has resveratrol and resveratrol has anti-aging effect on the body super high antioxidant it reduces platelet clotting clustering it has also been shown to be cancer preventative and it also works in all three stages of cancer which is the initiation stage the promotion stage and the progression stage so to answer your question are these three foods the best covid protection ever well, I'm gonna leave it up to you to make that decision. They all have extremely good health benefits and they each have an immune system, an immune boosting effect. So each one does require a specific shopping knowledge. So make sure you're following me on the grocery discoveries as I talk about each one of these different foods, especially the tea, which is coming out soon, choose muscadine grapes that are organic or choose an organic resveratrol supplement. So thanks for asking these questions. These are excellent questions. And I love how you're thinking pr protection and prevention because that's how God wants us to live. We live in the moment how the Holy Spirit guides us, but we also live in a protective phase, a protective thinking and processing so that we are our best for tomorrow, the next day, whatever mission God brings along. And how you protect your immune system is like how you stay armed for the next battle. And we got a few battles coming up and we never know what to expect. But when we are armed and ready with the word of God in our heart and in our mind, and when we are feeding our immune system what God has designed for us, you, you don't fret. We don't have a spirit of fear. We have the spirit of being an overcomer, being a victorious warrior, a mighty warrior, as it says in scripture. And that's what we have the power of having. So thanks for letting me share with you. I am a net reader from the biblicalnutritionist.com. If you haven't been to that website, why not? We've got a lot of good information there for you too. So be sure and check out biblicalnutritionacademy.com. And if you haven't already, sign up for the seven steps to amazing biblical health. It's free. It's my gift to you. Thanks for watching. And be sure and put your comments down below. And share this video. I always forget to tell you, share this video with all your friends and family. Thank you.